Hello everyone, Rebecca here from Simple Suburban Living and today's comfort food item is meatloaf. I have about a pound of ground beef. Um, I don't know exactly because my mom had divided these into hamburger patties, but it's looking to me like it's roughly a pound. Okay, so I'm going to add to this ground beef. Actually, let me put some gloves on. I did wash my hands and take my rings off, but since this is so messy, I think I'm going to use gloves for it. Okay, so I am going to add some spices. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle that around so it's distributed not exactly evenly, but that's okay. All right, and I have a fourth of a diced onion. One beaten egg. About uh, half of a cup of, well, actually kind of a heaping half a cup of oats. You could use breadcrumbs or crackers or whatever you have. Milk, and that's about a half a cup of milk. And the recipe that I originally had called for Worcestershire sauce, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of steak sauce in there just to give it a little boost of flavor. I'm just shaking some on, but I'm thinking that's about a teaspoon or so. Okay, and I'm just gonna mix it up. Now when you're mixing meat like this, you obviously want everything to be well combined, but you don't want to mix it any more than you have to. So we're just going to do it until it's combined. actually put it in this pie pan instead of a loaf pan. I don't know that I have a loaf pan handy and this pie pan will work anyway because I'm gonna put some roasted potatoes, some potatoes around to roast. All right. And by the way, I'm going to bake it for about an hour before I top it with some ketchup. Okay, so that's all there is to making the actual meatloaf. Now let's do the potatoes. I'm going to take my gloves off for the potatoes since I use them with the meat and I don't want to be handling the potatoes with those same gloves. So I have eight kind of smallish sized potatoes and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on them. Okay. And I'm going to put some salt. I'm thinking probably that's probably about a half a teaspoon of salt. Just going to kind of sprinkle it around. I'm using kosher salt, but you can use whatever kind of salt that you like. And this pepper comes out really fast, so I'm going to put it in my hand first just to make sure I don't end up accidentally with too much. But probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm just going to use my hands to mix it around. Now I'm just wanting to mix in the olive oil and the salt and pepper. Um, a lot of times I also add on um, some garlic powder or what have you, but I'm just going for some basic roasted potatoes this time. So, okay, from what I can see it looks like they're pretty evenly mixed. If you look 
down here at the bottom, let's see if I, there's a little bit of salt and pepper on those. Not a lot, but I think it's going to be okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the potatoes around the meatloaf. And hopefully I have a big enough pan so that the potatoes will bake okay. So it's going to be pretty full, actually. We'll see. I might actually now get another small pan to use in addition to this. You know, the meatloaf is going to shrink up, but even so, I don't want the potatoes too heaped up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, another pan, a little smaller casserole dish, put the rest of the potatoes in that. I'm going to pop both of them into the oven for, it's a 350 degree oven that I've already heated. I'm going to pop them in the oven for about an hour. Then I'll take them out, add some ketchup to the top of the meatloaf, and pop it in for about 10 more minutes, and then it'll be ready, and I'll show you what it looks like. See you in a bit. Okay, it's been in the oven for an hour, so I'm just going to cut and see if it looks done, and it does. So now I'm going to add on some ketchup, and I'm just squeezing some on there, so not really measuring. And I'm just going to cover it with some ketchup and then I'll pop it back in the oven for 10 more minutes. And then I'll bring you back. It's been five minutes, or excuse me, it's been 10 minutes and now I just took it out of the oven and I need to let it sit for five minutes before serving it up. Okay, now lunch is completely ready. We've got the meatloaf the roasted potatoes, salad, and I made some garlic bread as well. So I'm uh, looking forward to serving this to my family. Have a great day, everyone. By the way, this was part of the Easy Comfort Food collaboration. I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description. And also, this is an open collaboration that I'm hosting. I'll leave a video, a link to the video that explains the collaboration. I'd love to have you join in as well. So I, if you haven't already done so, I'd appreciate it if you would like this video, share it, leave a comment, whatever you would like to do. And of course, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I publish new videos. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.